Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom and I are making resin bowls for the first time. The first thing I'm doing is taking these tiny silver rocks and placing them around the edges of my mold. I adjust their placement using a makeup brush and my fingers, but I'll adjust it more once I pour in the resin. Then I start to mix my part A and my part B resin together. Once I'm done mixing my resin, I separate it into two cups to split it equally between my mom and I. Then we start to divide our resin into more cups so that we can add the pigments. My mom takes a silicone muffin holder and starts to add some bronze flakes into it with a wooden stick. I start to pour my clear resin into my mold and my mom adds some bronze glitter into the muffin holder as well. There's a small amount of resin in there so everything is covered in resin and gets mixed nicely. Now we start adding in our pigments and the first pigment that my mom is going to be using is by Just Resin and it's in the shade Rose Gold. Before she adds the pigment into her small cup, she makes sure to mix it well in the container first. And I'm using a Just Resin pigment paste in the shade Beige. I'll add affiliate links in the description, so if you're interested in purchasing any of these products, make sure to check that out. The next pigment that my mom's going to be using is an alcohol ink by Deepon, and it's in the shade Mocha. She's going to be doing a puddle pour, and using at least one transparent pigment is a good tip to achieve some striations. I start adding in my second pigment and I'm using white casting craft and my mom starts to add in her third and she's also using the Just Resin in the shade beige. I quickly go over the clear resin that I poured into my mold to pop any air bubbles and the third pigment I'm going to be adding is a beautiful light shade pink and it's also from Just Resin, and it's in the shade Dusty Pink. My mom starts to pour her darkest pigmented resin, which is the alcohol ink in the shade Mocha, around the edges of the mold. While I continue to mix in my pigment, she follows the pour by adding the beige pigmented resin right alongside the Mocha, and right after adds the rose gold. And I'm using a wooden stick to touch up the edges with the small silver rocks. My mom rotates between adding the resin and then pours her clear resin directly in the center. She doesn't try to pour in the clear resin carefully but tries to pour it in all at once which will cause beautiful striations. She's using a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and she's moving it in a very quick motion to be sure that she doesn't burn her resin or her silicone mold. And she adds her bronze flakes and glitter into the very center of the mold. I'm purposely taking my time with adding the pigmented resin into my mold because I want the resin to thicken a bit before I do so. So my mom has just finished hers and I'm just going to start mine now. Although I do have to admit that I was impatient and I didn't wait as long as I should have. And I could tell while I was adding in the pigment that it wasn't as thick as it should have been but it was 90 degrees and I wanted to go to the beach so that's definitely my biggest downfall as a resin artist is that I'm extremely impatient. My mom on the other hand was smart and did a technique that could be done quickly so that she could go to the beach. <laughs> so with my wooden stick I'm carefully adding in my three different shades of pigmented resin 
I started in the center and then started to add some pigmented resin closer to the outer edges of the mold as well. And I do have to say that I really love this color combination. But because I didn't wait as long as I should have, all of this pigmented resin is going to shift and move and it actually ends up covering the silver rocks that I added on the edges. We did our pour in the evening and we decided to come back to them in the morning. So in total, we waited around 15 hours. And here's a clip of my mom and I demolding. We have our bowls and our plastic wrap ready. And the way that we're going to do this is by first placing some plastic wrap into the bowl, then placing our resin piece, and then placing another piece of plastic wrap on top of our resin piece and finishing it off by placing a bowl on top. Once we have our resin piece inside of the bowl, we use our fingers to push it down to take the shape of the bowl. Once my mom placed a bowl on top of her resin piece, she added some rocks into the bowl to weigh it down. And I decided to try a different bowl shape, so I took my resin piece out of the bowl that it was previously in and did the same technique in this second bowl. The bowl that I switched to had more of a flat bottom, so it actually ended up being better for the resin piece because the trinket bowl will be able to lie flat onto a surface, whereas the bowl that my mom is using has more of a rounded bottom, so it doesn't lie completely flat. So in the future, we're going to be using more bowls with the flat bottom. Once we place something on top of our resin piece to weigh it down, we took tape and taped all around the bowls so that it will stay still. And after 24 hours, I took them out of the bowls. For the final touches, we're going to be adding a gold trim, and for my resin bowl, I'm going to be using a gold gloss paint marker by Edding. And my mom is going to be using a liquid pale gold for hers, and with a small paintbrush, she paints it onto the edges. And here's the final product.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.